All I really wanna see is the Money. I don't really need a D, I need the Money. All a bad bitch need is a K, K, C Money Money Hi guys, it's Jayco Beauty and welcome back to my channel It is 2019 Ugh, I just celebrated my birthday a couple days ago And I'm excited for 2019 I want to work on my channel, I want to work on my content, and I want to work on the quality of my videos. So I don't know if you can tell, I am filming with my new camera. Um, hopefully the quality is better and you see an improvement. Please give this video a thumbs up if you see the difference. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the items that I've had been loving in 2018. Now I don't feel like I have a lot of things but these are items that i've been using every single day and since i haven't done a monthly favorites in a minute i want to share with you the things that i've been loving in 2018. so the first thing that i've been loving in 2018 is the maybelline matte and poreless foundation in the shade 228 soft tan now this I would say is a medium coverage but it definitely you can build it up to full coverage I think the undertone is perfect for my complexion the undertone has a yellow undertone that I love it's a matte foundation but it's not cakey and I really love it for this Florida humid hot weather so more than likely Monday through Friday I have this foundation on and I am loving it. My favorite concealer that I've been using is, drumroll please, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I talk about this concealer all the time in the shade Sand. I think that the concealer and the foundation go so, so good together. The undertone is yellow, like it's something with yellow undertone that I love on my skin and my complexion and these two are like my holy grail foundation and concealer combo so I'm not gonna go on and on about it I've used it in plenty of videos and you guys know that I love it another concealer that I've been loving in 2018 the Urban Decay all nighter waterproof full coverage concealer in the shade medium light neutral now, I had a love and hate relationship with this concealer. I tried it on my face and for some reason I felt as though when I put my foundation on and then I put the concealer on, whether it was under my eyes or whether it was to spot conceal, I kind of felt like it was kind of taking off the foundation that I had underneath. So I really didn't like this product to use as an under eye concealer or a spot concealer but I really really love this to carve out my eyebrows uh, it's very thick and I really like the consistency and the formula of the concealer to carve out the eyebrows it just makes everything so much cleaner so much sharp and compared to the other, other concealers that I've used to carve out my eyebrows this one right here has to be my favorite like it just helps your eyebrows be on fleek now another item from Urban Decay that I've been loving is the Heavy Metal Glitter in the shade Midnight Cowboy. Now this isn't your average loose glitter, like it looks like a little eyeliner and it has glitter at the end. And I think that this is the best alternative to glitter in my opinion. I do not like dealing with on myself personally loose glitters, I think it's just too messy and can get all on your makeup, on your face all over the place so I really don't like dealing with loose glitter and I really really like using this liner glitter if you see me with glitter on on any of my pictures or on my videos more than likely I'm using this glitter it's just less of a headache it's so easy to use and it's very very pigmented and my favorite bronzer that I've been using in 2018 is the physician formula butter bronzer in the shade deep bronzer i'm not sure if this is the dark shade or i think they only have two shades of this i may be wrong um but i have really really liked the formula of this the name of it it just fits it it's butter bronzer like 
it's so smooth and so creamy and it blends into your skin so so good it does have a like a coconut or like tropical smell which is really good but i really really enjoy this for the formula and physician formula is a drugstore item you can find it at cvs walgreens ulta but it is one of the pricier drugstore um items so i have really been loving this bronzer now this is an item that i have started to like closer towards the middle to the end of the year not since the beginning of 2018 since i got it i have not been able to put it down and it's the morphe continuous setting mist this is going to melt all of your powder and all of the makeup on and make it look just like skin like it has a very very fine mist like you're spraying like some hairspray and i think that's the reason why it's like continuous setting mist it continues to set your makeup set your powders and just make everything look so much flawless it does have a good smell to it it doesn't leave it tacky or sticky a lot of setting mist leave like the water or the setting mist you squirt it all over your face like the formula of this and the setting just applies to your face so beautiful and so lightweight you don't even know you're spraying anything on your face so i really really recommend this so in 2018 i have grown a love for eyelashes and i didn't really like them you know when i first started out makeup because I don't really know how to apply them well but now I can apply lashes so much easier and the ones that I've been loving are the Kiss brand the Lash Couture Triple Up Collection so it looks like this and they have so many different you know styles um, the ones that I like the most are Bustier and Brazier. Now, as you can see, these are empty. These are ones that I found on my vanity. Um, every time that I have lashes on, more than likely, it's this Kiss brand. Now, Kiss has several different brands, but the one that I really, really like is the Lash Couture, and it has the girl here on the top. I reuse these over and over and over again. I can get about 10 uses for each lash, and they're really, really worth the money. They're about $6 or probably even less depending on where you get them from. But I really, really recommend this. The lash band is very thin. The eyelashes, they look like high-end lashes like Coco lashes or, you know, some high-end eyelashes that you could get at Sephora. So, I've really been loving these lashes. Another item that I've been loving in 2018 is this apple cider vinegar. Now, I know you guys are thinking like apple cider vinegar I know you guys see this everywhere there's so many ways that you can use it but the ways that I like to use the apple cider vinegar are in the morning I like to take a shot of this and it helps me wake up it also gives me a boost of energy but for my beauty needs I really like to use this as a toner um, lately my skin has been going through a lot and I find that this has really been helping it I use it as a toner I put it on a little cotton ball or cotton rounds and I apply it all over my face after I've cleansed my skin and on the areas where I feel like I've been breaking out it does sting a little bit which I feel like okay if it's stinging a little bit it's working in there it's kind of killing bacteria it's helping my skin and I've really been seeing a difference with my breakouts so I've been loving the apple cider vinegar to use as a toner and I highly recommend it. Another item that I've loved in 2018 is the Suave Dry Spray Instantly Dry 48 Hour Protection Deodorant and this is in the scent Coconut Kiss. I really like these deodorants. The spray kinds are just so much easier. They don't get, you don't get residue all over your clothes and the stickiness like you just spray it on once in a day and you forget about it you don't have to worry about you know being funky or nothing like that not that i get funky but you know this has just been made my life so much easier as a mommy on the go and yes now if you see me with any highlight on I am wearing a Becca highlighter and the two that I've been loving is Opal and Prosecco Pop. The shade that I have here 
is opal i couldn't find my prosecco pop i just wore it yesterday but my vanity is a complete mess so the shade that i have here is opal i feel like the becca highlighters last all day long and they're just so smooth this one i hit pan on right in the middle you can tell that i've been using it a lot this is opal here it is just so nice and so smooth. It does not emphasize any texture. It just goes on your skin so smooth. And they have so many different colors depending on your skin type. And I've really been loving the Becca highlighters for 2018. Now, I'm a matte lipstick kind of girl or a liquid lipstick kind of girl. But in 2018, I was kind of loving my glosses. And if you see me with a gloss, more than likely, I was using a Buxom lip gloss. The shades that I love are White Russian and Hot Toddy. They just make your lips so shiny. It's the lip gloss that I'm wearing today. Um, they make your lips so shiny. They last so long. I can eat. I can drink. I can go several hours without even having to touch up any lip gloss on. They do have like a tingling sensation, but it's not like the, the Too Faced lip gloss, the one that plumps up your lips. I don't think this is a plumping lip gloss. It just has like a tingling sensation, and I really, really like the Buxom lip glosses. These two are my favorites, and I highly recommend these lip gloss if you want your lips to be shiny and popping. Another thing that I've been loving in 2018 is the Best of Me brightening french vanilla translucent setting powder now this setting powder is so small i found it in sephora i don't really hear people talking about it but i don't know why because i think that this setting powder is bomb first of all it's like a yellow undertone the color of it kind of reminds me of sasha buttercup and ben nye translucent banana powder it's the color of it is in between those but i think this is so so much better i highly highly recommend this this has been my jam for 2018 first of all it smells like french vanilla and it just goes on so smooth you don't get any creases you don't get any flashback with this translucent powder i really really recommend it and it smells so good I've had this the whole year and it's still like even though it's little it has lasted me a long long time and it's 0.21 ounces I don't think they have a bigger or smaller I think this is just the only size that they have but it has lasted me all year and I really really like it now the last few items that I have are some skincare items this right here is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I use this when I have a lot of makeup on. Like when I have a full face of makeup, especially like smoky eye. And what, it, what you do is you take a little bit on your hands and it's a cleansing balm. So you use this to remove all of the makeup on your face. But it doesn't leave any residue after. It takes a lot, a lot of makeup off. I do cleanse my face after this, of course. But I really, really like this. It just, you rub it into your skin and it gets kind of oily, but it just completely melts all of your makeup off. And I really, really like it and I really, really recommend it. Also by Clinique, I've been loving the Clinique Even Better Clinical Dark Spot Corrector. Now this is completely empty. I It did last me a while and I have to pick up another one because there's nothing left at all. But I really think that this has made a difference with my hyperpigmentation from my acne. Like, this is my rougher side, but all of the acne on my right side has, is completely gone. And the pigmentation, it has just decreased so much more since I've been using it. And a little bit goes a long way after I cleanse my skin and I tone my skin and... Before I put my moisturizer at night, I'll go in with this just a little bit and I'll put it on the spots that I have the hyperpigmentation and I have really, really seen a difference. And I really recommend it and I definitely am going to pick up another one. Anything that's going to remove some hyperpigmentation to make your skin look better, more flawless, to help you use less makeup, I really suggest. So you definitely got to pick this up if you're dealing with some acne spots. So the last item that I've been loving in 2018 is this 
Drunk Elephant TLC Sakari Baby Facial. Now, I think this is kind of pricey too. I think it's between $90 and $100, but this has made a really, really big difference with the texture on my skin. Now, a disclaimer here. This shit fucking burns when you put it on your face. After you cleanse your skin and you dry your face, I recommend using this probably like once a week. And then once you grow tolerance to it, maybe you can use it twice a week. Well, it actually says use once weekly. It says apply an even layer to the skin. Apply an even layer to clean dry skin. Leave on for 20 minutes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water and pat dry. Follow immediately with the DE Marula oil for best results. Slight tingling may be experienced. Avoid using with any products containing retinol or retinoids. This has made a really, really big difference with the texture of my skin. That's another thing that I really wanted to focus on 2018 was my skincare because once your skincare is on point, your makeup is going to be on point. So I had bought a whole bunch of Drunk Elephant items. I think I did a haul on it and this is one of my favorite items from the Drunk Elephant collection and I really really love it. I use it probably once or twice a week and I have really seen the difference on the texture of my skin and also the hyperpigmentation so I highly recommend this. And that's it guys. I know it wasn't a lot of products but these are the products that have been my ride or dies for 2018. Some of them I have mentioned in my monthly favorites, some of them I have not, but these are items that I really, really love and I highly recommend to you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. I hope everyone has a prosperous 2019, and let's get to the bag. Bye!